One of my subscribers has asked me a very important question and I want to share it with you too because I think you need to know the answer to this because it's a really good lesson about getting traffic, growing an online business and making passive income through affiliate marketing. And it doesn't matter how long you've been doing this because this is something that everybody needs to learn. Okay, so one of my subscribers, Tariq, he has asked me what I think the best traffic method for affiliate marketing is. Now, this is such a great question and it's totally valid, but unfortunately, Tariq doesn't have a website of his own. So he needs to get that fixed immediately because if you don't have a website of your own, then you don't really have much control over your business. And I mean, okay, it's great for those, you know, shady marketers who will tell you to build a business by promoting their products. Now, that's great for them, but it's not good for you. And I want to give you a warning about something because I'm seeing a really bad practice out there. I'm seeing a lot of good, honest hardworking, decent people fall for something, okay? Some marketers will give you a ready-made landing page and they'll tell you the best way to build a business is to use their landing page and send traffic to that. And on the surface, this looks like it could be a good deal. It looks easy, but the thing is, that opt-in form for their email list well, that is for their email list and not yours. So what that means is you're building someone else's business and not your own. And it might even feel like you're being productive and you're taking action and you might feel really positive about it. But what's really going on here behind the scenes is those marketers know the absolute lifetime value of every customer they get. And okay, they're gonna give you a small commission one time for every sale you generate. But those marketers, well, they'll have a lifetime asset and a much stronger business that you've helped them to build. And all you've really got in exchange for that is that one time commission. And that's, really why I don't run an affiliate program on Profit Copilot at the moment. And okay, I, I could probably double, triple or you know, even quadruple my revenue if I started to recruit affiliate marketers. But I'm not going to do that because I want to make sure that you are focusing, focusing on the right things and you're building your business in the right way first. So you're building your own assets before you start building mine or you know anyone else's business i just want to see you succeed and i want to see you do it in the right way so you do things properly so you have that long-term success that you deserve and when you have your own asset then you will have predictable and reliable and consistent revenue you have a real business and listen I know Tariq and probably everybody else wants me to tell them that there's some single magic website out there where they can post affiliate links and get a flood of free traffic. But it doesn't work like that. And nobody on the, on the front end really wants to deal with that kind of marketing because it's spammy and it doesn't provide any real value to anyone. And you know what? Think about it, right? It's like walking up to a complete stranger and asking them to buy something from you. They don't know you, they don't trust you, and it doesn't work. And if you do that online, then you're missing out on tons of potential revenue because that way you're only able to ask people one time to buy from you. Okay, and that is before you're either blocked or banned or ignored. So you really only have one chance to make a sale. But 
I've got something that's a lot better for you. And it's going to help you to make a lot more money, not just once, but repeatedly. And you can use this as often as you like. Okay, what is it? Well, this kind of feels like I need to find new ways to explain the only process that has always worked. But before we get into it, listen, there's a saying, right? Nothing worth having ever came easy. So with that in mind, we have to roll up our sleeves and we have to get to work because this only works if you work. Okay, so the method that I want to share with you today is called the do it for real method. And the do it for real method is the only method that has been consistently proven to work year after year. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. And the good news is this works for practically every niche, but we need an example here. So let's imagine that you're pro promoting an affiliate offer that teaches people how to choose the right type of tropical fish. OK, now what you need to do is work backwards from there. So you need to map out all the steps that a customer needs to take before they realize that they need to buy that product. OK, so let's say they make this, make a, a sale here. So that's the product. So what you need to do is work backwards. So you go back here and you think about all the steps that they need to take before they need to take them to arrive at that point of realizing they need to purchase that product that you promoted. It sounds a little bit strange. Go with it because this is what works. OK, so now with that in mind, for each one of these steps, you have to create or provide helpful content that moves them towards the next step. OK, so let's start at the beginning over here. So let's say a customer might go to Google and they search for something like types of fish tank. So what you need to do is create content that teaches them the difference between different fish tanks. So you'd write an article, get someone else to write it for you, or you could do like I do and shoot a YouTube video that explains the difference between maybe a fish, uh, a, a tropical and a marine tank. So once they know that, then you give them a reason to move on to the next step. And usually this is where we would ask people to join an email list. And that is so they can get more value from you. And at this stage, it is really important that you own that landing page and it's not some other marketers because that is a recipe for disaster. And you're not really building a business of your own. You're only building an asset for someone else, as we've mentioned. So now once you get a customer on your email list, then you can move them to the next step, which is to buy the thing that you're promoting. OK, but the cool thing here is if they don't buy from you that time, that's OK, because you can promote to them as much as you like. You can promote to them over and over and even pitch different products. It's fine. And listen, the truth is most people won't buy from you the first time they see that offer. They need multiple touch points. And that's what we're doing here. We're creating multiple touch points along this path. And each one of these touch points builds trust. So when it come when the time comes for you to pitch a product and say, this is what I think you should buy, you've built that trust. They have a reason to buy something because you recommended it, because you've already helped them out. And this kind of system that we see here, this can be automated. So it becomes passive income. And all you have to do is drive traffic to that front end content. And then the rest takes care of itself. And thankfully, driving traffic to this front end content, that's pretty easy. And I'm going to show you how to do it because the best way to get traffic is to leverage it from other websites. Now, there's a couple of things that you need to do here. So the first one that you need to do is you need to know where your audience hangs out online. So you have to find niche relevant groups and communities. But 
again, you can't just go in there and start posting links everywhere. To really make this work, you need to create a little bit more content. But again, that's pretty quick and easy to do. So let me show you what I mean, because this is a very effective strategy that you can use to drive traffic. So we're going to go to reddit.com and we're going to find subs or groups that are relevant to your niche. OK, the first thing that you want to do when you head over to Reddit is go to this search bar type in a, a few keywords that are going to be relevant to your niche. So I might type in something like aquarium and you can see that I've already done that previously. So this sub has got over 300,000 members, over a thousand of those are online right now. It was created in 2009. So it's got a lot of authority here. OK, so the first thing that you want to do is head over to the rules section and take a read through these. This is really important. So don't skip over this because if we click on rule number two on this sub, no spamming, advertising or flooding the sub, we can see that it says if more than 10 percent of your submissions are a personal blog, site or any YouTube video, it is considered advertising and will be removed. So what this tells us is every one in 10 of your posts can be to a personal blog. That's fantastic. So let's think about the power of that for a second, because on this sub, we've got a thousand people online right now. OK, a lot of them won't be browsing the front page of the sub. They'll be involved in discussions and posting content and being active in other places. But a heavy percentage of those 1000 people that are online right now will see your post and not just these people, but the people who come later on in the day and tomorrow and next week and next year, because your post is going to live on forever. Because look at this, if we can structure this content here by top. We can choose. Where is it? We can choose to go from today to all time. If we do that, let's have a look. The top post of all time, which is this one, this has got 18,000 upvotes. So if you're not familiar with upvotes and downvotes, the more people who upvote your content, the higher you climb in Reddit. The more people who downvote, well, that just pushes your post down. Oops, that was my alarm. <laughs> Let me turn that off. So imagine if your content manages to get this kind of traction. I mean, this one has got over a thousand comments. So just imagine how much targeted traffic you're going to get. Now, to make that happen, you need to do a couple of things because it's not just a case of creating a new post and then linking out to your website. Yeah, you have to be a bit strategic about this. So what I recommend you do is go up here to new, click on new. And what you're going to get are new posts that don't have that many comments. The engagement is pretty low. And what I want you to do is answer these questions, provide value to the community that you are going to promote yourself in. You do this for a couple of reasons. So first of all, you get the mods and over here we have the mods. So if there's any problems with uh, posting or your account or you run into any issues, you reach out to these people. So these are the mods. So what you want to do is make sure that the mods recognize your name. OK, these are just normal people. You know, the only power they have on Reddit is the ability to stop you from posting, which is quite quite important. So you need to make sure that these guys, or at least a few of them, know your name 
So when the time comes to promote your stuff, they're not going to immediately assume that you're some kind of spammer or you're just there to, uh, to take traffic from the community. They need to see that you're a knowledgeable guy. You're there to, to really assist and benefit the community. So that's why you post in these communities, especially under the new section. And because there's really not much happening on these posts, your comment is going to stand out more, which means you have an increased chance of being rewarded karma. Karma gives you additional benefits on Reddit. So some subs will only allow you to post links when your karma lever, level excuse me, increases beyond a certain threshold. And that will vary from sub to sub right across Reddit. There is no one rule or no one size fits all solution with that. So what you need to do is increase your karma, create non-promotional posts, maybe use these subs as a way to gather data so you can run surveys, polls, get a feel for what people really have trouble with, then create content based around that. But the point is to increase your karma so when you do come to promote your website and your links, you, ha you have a better chance of being accepted and embraced by the community and the moderators. So if we have a look, let's go up to new, because what you, what you really need to do, we're on new actually, is have a look at how other people are using this, this website. So here we have a post, if we click on that, it was made 23 minutes ago, so it's very recent. We can see that someone is linking out to other websites. Now, we don't know if these are this person's websites or not. The fact that they're linking out to two websites is very interesting. I have another strategy based around this technique, which I can go into in a lot more detail if you want me to. Just let me know in the comments. And if you stick with this strategy, if you do it right, you will get floods and floods of targeted traffic to your pages through delivering value. Now, if you are serious about growing a popular and profitable affiliate marketing business, you're going to need more traffic. So I want to give you the traffic methods that I never share on YouTube or anywhere else. You can get them all completely for free when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic. And if you found this useful, give it a thumbs up below. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down because that's useful data for me to have too. But if you did find it useful, then hit the subscribe button, click the little notification bell so you never miss an update from me. And I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time. Take care.